whatever. <laughs> Necrosis. I don't know what the hell I grabbed, but it's called Don't Open Your Eyes. I'm just gonna... Click on it and see what happens. Sounds pretty simple, just don't open your eyes. It's getting late. Oops, okay, don't press the right mouse. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Did I win yet? I leave aside the book I'd been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against something or other, bucking dogs, blah 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 blah, but do not but not even the turning gears of my brain are producing my sound. Tonight is oddly quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I'd, I'd known since I made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absent-mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings in the smallest detail, but tonight's different. The hallway looks as like it stretches. And what the fuck is going on with my overlay? What is this? What the fuck? How am I going to know my frame rate? Uh, whatever. Lots of people thinking cries, blah, 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 blah. There can't be anything different about it. It's just a hallway, but... But what? I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close your eyes. But it said don't... Don't... Op Wait, don't close your eyes or don't open your eyes? I, f I forget. There's a bed in my room. There's a wardrobe. Yes, there is. In my room. Picture framed on the wall. So he's like imagining this, I guess. It's part of it's a world I know like the back of my hand. I don't really know the back of mine. Were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I do so with this out to slightest difficulty as long as nothing changes. Having my eyes closed makes no difference. You made it even better. Fuck yeah. Hehe. <laughs> In this room, I can always find what I want to find, because in this room, I know how everything looks. It's redundantly redundant. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Sleeping. Ugh. Pain in the butt. How the hell did you make it better? Do I even want to know yet? Or do I want to witness it later with my own eyes? Stop, what's that sound? Are those footsteps? Yes. I don't know. No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. Totally. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They are gone, right? Right, there's no way someone could be there. Hmm. Cool. Hey, what is this? Kind of eldritch abomination. Hey. Hey. What's your name? I have to get to get to. Open. No, the game's title is Don't Open Your Eyes. I'm not opening my eyes. Because then I might not get to see you anymore. Oh, I have a choice. My choice is no. Fuck you and don't you dare tell me what to do. I'll fucking kill you and slit your throat, you little shit. Don't open my eyes. Now talk to me, Cthulhu. Hey, spooky music. Open your eyes. Fuck you. I, I am looking at you. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? I am looking at you. Where are your manners? I don't have manners. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Yes. And then block them. And push them down the stairs. Is that how it is? Yeah. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. Okay. I have never seen my 
myself before. Have you tried a mirror? I don't know if my face is ugly. It is. I don't know the color of my skin. Uh, black, I guess? I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. No. So you can tell me how I look. You just look ugly, trust me. But I'm also shy. So I might hide the moment you do. Then why would I open my eyes? You won't find me anywhere. And soon, you will forget. What if I don't want to forget? Like a faded dream. Doesn't sound scary. Come on. I will keep my eyes closed. I know you're not asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Why, a nibble on them? Like I could almost grab them. Feel something caressing my ear. Put my fingers around them. Hmm. Am I getting laid? And tear them off. Oh, hell yeah. If I do, will you scream? No, I'm not a screamer. Will I hear your voice? No, probably not. It was a joke. I'm joking. Don't be scared. Oh, okay. I'm not... <laughs> I mean, I'm not, like... Trying. A for effort. How do you think my eyes look? Mmm. Hmm. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? I don't know. Answer me. They look empty. I don't see eyes. They Maybe we could draw some on or something. Empty. Yeah. There. See? That's better. Kinda looks like my avatar's eyes on so. VR. Mine are still better. The eyes are the window to the soul. Hmm. I think it's it's the window to the optical nerves and stuff. That's what someone told me. They lied to you. Long ago. They said that the soul was holy. Right. Hmm. person has one, both the good and the evil, but that person said I was the exception. Nice. That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. Now the eyes actually remind me of my current avatar's eyes. I'll have to show you. <laughs> so bright. So bright like a night light. So beautiful. They looked inside of me, took a deep breath, and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Their eyes, eyes that could see it all, couldn't find anything in there. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. Well, that sounds convenient. That means you don't even need a circulatory system to function. That's a hell of a privilege. Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins, Maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. No, it's because you didn't use a mirror. I... Uh... Because I'm empty. Aww. But isn't that something to be grateful for? Yes. Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. Hmm. By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. Ignorance is not bliss. So maybe this is for the best. Hmm. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Nor the second, nor the third, nor the several others who came after. The only thing I remember is that they looked as empty as I did to them. But your eyes look so lively. They're like brimming with, with, with life. At least in my opinion. Yeah, what? Have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? Mm, no. That you've embraced the void as your own. Okay, maybe. But that's why I feel so special. Have you? A little bit, yeah. I remain silent. These eyes. Are these my eyes? Yes. 
A good answer. Thank you. I, I, I picked it carefully. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Yes, through what's called the scientific method. Open your eyes. Nope. Nope. I'm under strict orders not to open my eyes. Nope. So you won't look at I'm me. I'm looking at you as we speak. Even though your eyes are so pretty. Really? Aw, you're so cute. I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Round like pearls and shiny like jewels. No, the more spheroidal like anime eyes. So, so pretty. A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. It's fine. We still have time. Hmm. The night is still. And silent. Yeah, this is just foreplay. Is this a staring contest? People are good at closing their doors. We're not. We left ours open. Do you know what a door is? Yes, I know what a door is. Of course you know. You have one. Right there. At the verge of your little world. Yeah, if you could go and close that for me, that'd be great. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. Yeah, but it can also trap in the bad smells. It's a it's a two-way problem. And sometimes me. Hey, you're welcome to be here anytime, but I can't open doors. Yeah, you only have the tentacle things. You probably should be able to get a grip with them at least and turn it, no? I find them tricky. Should I push? Well, first try one, then the other. One of the two will produce a result. Should I turn the knob left or right? You can turn them either way, it doesn't matter. Should I try to take it off its uh, That's a destructive method, but it could work. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? That won't, no. And what happens when it opens? Then you can eat whoever's on the other side. No, not if you take it off the hinges. Do I keep it open? But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Ah, fuck the person who had it closed. But then, how do I get out? The same way you came in. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? I don't know. So many options. There's so many things that could go right. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. Good thing I left my door open then. I stare at it for a long time. I don't think I've ever heard such a deep pondering of doors before. And think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. Yep. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. To keep me out. It also allows us to protect our shit from outsiders. It fills me with the need to go in. So I search for a crevice or a window. Why not just use the door? <laughs> It'd be easier if you're already in front of the door. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit... Then I can't go in anywhere. Wonder if you could fit under the door. Can you like conform your body into the I think this is the whole game, by the way, is this scene. This is the whole thing. And I bet you it ends if I open my eyes. So we're not opening my eyes. This guy seems cool. He likes to talk philosophically, metaphorically. In a too deep for you kind of way. It looks like some sort of eldritch abomination. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. Take a look at my life and realize I... I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. Yeah, the light sucks. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. 
I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable, without alerting anyone. The voice acting is fantastic. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Oh, you should see my, my server room. I feel at home there. It's like a dust palace. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. Not opening my eyes. So I search Sorry. hard. For a door that's open. That one's open. For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end. Awake. As if expecting me. But you won't look at me. I am looking at you. Even though you had your Sorry. door open for visitors. Why is that? Because I had strict orders not to open my eyes. That's why. Are you afraid? Yes, I'm afraid. Terrified. That's why. Do I scare you? Totally. No. That can't be it. Then what? We have been chatting for so long. Yeah. Like Fifteen minutes? You haven't chased me out. No. That means you welcome me. Yeah. I grab a pillow and find a spot on the bed. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Something moves over my bed sheets. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. I got something else that's warm, too. So very warm. Because people are always warm. Hey. Yeah. How do my hands... They look like tentacles. Look. When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Probably warm. Answer me. They look... Hmm. None of the above. They look... I guess incomplete. Like, I can't see the, all of it. So, yeah, they look incomplete. They look... Incomplete. Yeah, you can't even open a door. Hey, there you go. That may be so. Got puppet hands. Amidst my travels, I have lost more than I can imagine. I have left people behind. People who are my chat companions. Just like you are now. Is it because you killed them? Because, yeah, they usually can't talk after that. It's a problem that you have to deal with. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. Things such as can... Oh, are you a yandere? Like, you're eating my hair, but that... That that thing I cooked you, it's a piece of meat inside of you. Oh. Or flesh. Mm. Or bones. Or... Anything that makes me... It's romantic. It sounds like an excuse. Nah. And that's because it is. Okay. Because I am careless and overly curious. I'll feel free, free to explore my body. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Might need better hands for that. Like the crust of a tree or the surface of a frozen lake. But sometimes, I find something else. Oh? Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. Did you start the fire? I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. And wonder, how does that feel? So I put my hands to the fire. Bad idea. It hurts. But I tolerate it. And to keep them there. Oh, that, 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 that's why you can't feel anything anymore. You pretty much destroyed the nerves. For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates. And the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible but intoxicating feeling. I seek such extreme sensations. The edge of a knife.
life sometimes provides it. I mean, I can introduce you to a BDSM community. There's plenty of ways we can solve this problem for you, bud. Other times, the fangs of a beast. Most times, however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. I know what he reminds me of. Uh, salad fingers from the old Newgrounds uh, flesh stuff. I get an interesting uh, salad finger vibe. And I would leave my hands there as I traverse along it. Leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. The fire and the blades are friends. They have granted me times of great fun. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. But there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. Mm. They're always... painful. Yeah. I'd rather... they weren't. Yes. Only to feel the satisfaction you've realized is not yours. Yeah, I think we all have. Have Yeah. I remain silent. These hands... Are these... My hands? Yeah, those are your hands. A good hands. Give me a hand job. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Because we're still in foreplay mode. Open... Your eyes. No. Go fuck yourself. I'm not opening my eyes. No. So you won't look at me? No, I won't. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Your hands are way cooler looking than mine. Think about it. I did. Maybe you and I are similar. No. I know we are. Yeah, we're soulmates now. I can feel it in my skin. Is it painful? Oh. Yeah, don't blow your load yet. We're not done. My skin is... pulsating. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. You look fine. But... It's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Yeah, but you're not a slut. I get it. I get it. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. Hmm. I think there's laws against that. Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it, but it might not be the answer I wish for. You can force them into it. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. Deal with it. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. So why are you asking me to open my eyes? Yeah, I'm not going to open my eyes. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. Been more than a second. That way you can help me. I don't help people. And we can both be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Feel... Lust. I cannot describe it. I just did. I am not good with words. I am. I got you covered. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a 
wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. Hmm? I mean, they did a good job. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me... I, mean, I recognize you. Sort of. Nope, not happening. There it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. Then you're gonna poof or something. Nope. Nope. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. And you inspect every crevice of mine. I can do that without having to open my eyes. And you finally. <laughs> to let me hear what I am, and to maybe even give me a name. I, I'll, I'll call you Salad Fingers 2.0. Choices are determining what thing it might draw, because the screenshot we saw was like a weird, like, spike tooth, spy, like a grimace or something. I think I see. Like, we may have butchered you. <sighs> Sorry. Expressions are difficult. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. Yes, that's what we use blend shapes for. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel, it is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second, turning old and perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. Yeah, don't worry about it. My journey began long ago, longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die, born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting, and yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of I mean, of everything memories. you're saying right now would have fit several pages. But rather, because these memories mean nothing to me, save for a minuscule number, they are all the same. Blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps if someone else had left what I had, they would see meaning. Mm. If they would treasure it. Probably not. Not if it's under the same circumstances. But I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And 
means by extension and what I am. I want for someone to tell me how I look. You look like a, like a puppet. Yet, I don't see that as important. No one but me would care. So why should I care? That's a you problem. <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't mean I have never felt. Up until you burned off all your fucking nerve endings, yeah. I feel things. Like what? Joy. Sorrow. Fear. I am always feeling. And right now... I am feeling strongly. I wish I could feel fear. That would be amazing. Say is true. But soon you will see something. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. I'm... Hey. What? Have you ever masked yourself with indifference? All the time. Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Oh no, not that. Have you? I remain silent. This expression is this my expression. I'm gonna say no, because maybe I can give him another mouth or something. I'm curious. Just... Is that so? Then what does my expression look like I don't know. when that fell of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? You see oranges in that, huh? Answer me. Yeah, I can choose a different thing for him. I'm gonna say it's a grimace. A surprised grimace? Yeah, a surprised grimace. That's your surprised grimace? That may be so. I can dig it. I can, I can, I can dig it. I mean, it's a bit goofy, but... Tonight is the first I hear about my eyes. Or my hands. You should definitely not look in the mirror, but... Just, just trust me. And the new and unexpected is always a source of surprise. I guess, yeah, this might be the character creation screen. People always act surprised when I show myself before. Yeah, that, that, that mouth is gonna definitely surprise people. So it makes sense that my appearance would surprise me as well. Probably. At times, they stop moving, merely looking at me in awe. At others, they scream and run and exhaust themselves to the point they can't think. Others, they don't feel much at all. They sit and stay and attempt to talk. I don't like when they do that. I don't like when I talk either. I talk too much and bad things happen. It's like they are not seeing me. Not recognizing but me. But not the I recognize you. I much prefer when they phrase. I much prefer when they scream. Me too. A reaction is what I want. Oh, um, he's like a YouTube content creator. Just looking for reactions. It's a sign that I am there. And that my existence means something to them. That's why I like you. You did not scream. Yet you did not run either. I mean, I'm really comfortable in my bed. You're surprised and averted your eyes. But instead, you stayed. Listening. Acknowledging. Mm. You are the first to do this for me. You are new and unexpected. Yet, how odd. Is this really surprise? No, you say it is, so it must be true. But what I'm feeling right now, what I'm experiencing, it's not the same as those who've seen me. As if their surprise was something different from mine. Hey, what? have you ever acted surprised? Not because you are, 
but because you believe that's how you must feel. Yeah. Part of the job. Have you? I remain silent. This expression. You don't want me to give you my opinion on this expression. Is this my expression? Yes, this is this is this is your expression. I see. Till the end of time. Let Thank that you. burn into people's brain. You have truly helped me tonight. That's what I do. I'm a helper. What an expression it is. I consider these my most treasured features. <laughs> and you have helped me picture them all. You're welcome. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. Don't you dare fucking say it. You need to make sure of the truth. Don't you dare ask me. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. No. I want your strict orders. No. no. Go fuck yourself. I see. What do you see? I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before. So I have no right to ask for anything else. No. No, what? That is a lie. Yeah. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. What? I've been doing nothing but engaging with you. Look at that awesome face I gave you. I did that. Not realizing I was, but... Not even once. What? Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not oh, even you once. you little ungrateful fucking... Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Damn straight. Not even once. Did you look at my face? No, but I gave you a face. You stayed there. Acting as if you were asleep. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. You don't even have ears. Oh. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark... Empty bottom. You're gonna give them like big cat ears or something? That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. You two look for what's not there. You two reach out for what might hurt you. And you two are a liar. Hmm. Sometimes. The type that shows one thing. And feels another. But you made a mistake. Not me. I don't make mistakes. I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far... Has been wrong. Oh. I am not what you said I am. Sure you are. These eyes. These hands. This expression. Oh. Oh no, all my work. Oh. They aren't mine. Not anymore. Maybe. They are yours. Oh, hell no. I mean, the eyes I'll keep. But I do not care. Not that mouth. That mouth was... <laughs> not anymore. Open your eyes. No. Oh, I don't even have an... Okay, um... Just talk, talk, talk. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now... You will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember. I remember nothing. That in this room, you know how everything looks. Yes. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to, you have to do right by that which 
you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. Fuck no. Oh, I don't have a choice. I'll get that. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Do I open my eyes? Hell no. Go fuck yourself. You had your <laughs> You had yours, you little shit. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. You can force them open. I will. No, you won't. Something coils around my head. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. Hmm. Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Aw, thank you. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? I can't tell. I think I'm dead. I want to answer, but they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... Close my eyes. That won't do. Open your eyes. I already did. Open them. No. Open them now. No. Open, open, open. Nope. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Oh no. <laughs> like I forgot, people die when they're dead. Fuck. It seems. I did it again. Yes, you did. You can't see anymore, right? Correct. You can't talk anymore, right? I... I am, but... You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Even though you are a liar... Fuck you. I leave this piece of myself... here with you. I must go. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be dead. Don't mind me. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? Feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. My, my, my friend killed me. That's it. Hey, okay, so that was the whole thing. Interesting. So obviously it was a visual novel experience. I really enjoyed this. Like, only because it was voiced and it was voiced well the way it was uh, done with the whispering. Like, I don't. Like, I didn't realize exactly what was going on uh, as far as the choices. It looks as if he could have influenced how he looks. I don't know how everything influences other things. I did not explore every option, I don't plan to, but. That was awesome. Just nice, dark, little, uh, cutscene, so to speak. It had a good flavor to it. I... I love it. <laughs> it's just amazing. 